On this week's World of Saltwater Fishing, we're taking the shallow water mark deep into the backcountry behind Sugarloaf in the lower Florida Keys. I'm with the Sugarloaf Key legend himself, Captain Tim Carlisle. There you go, that's a bone. Yeah, it, it is. Those runs are good, aren't they? They sure blend in with that bottom, don't they? It's really amazing. Grab an eight pound class spin outfit and let's catch and release a few bonefish. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing, celebrating 20 years of fishing television excellence. Big fish don't stand a chance. Big Pine in the lower Florida Keys region. It's a part of the Florida Keys that, in a lot of ways, has still retained that old Florida Keys look and feel. Now, this is going to be a very exciting episode for me because I brought the shallow water mark down, a Mako 21 light tackle skiff and I was going to be paired up with legendary guide Tim Carlisle. I like to fish. I like to have something on the line, and I prefer tarpon, bonefish, permit, snapper, trout, ladyfish, jacks. I like it. I like it all, but sharks I'm not really keen about. So when you look at all the experience, you cannot miss with a guy like this, and this is why he stays booked up to nearly capacity. The weather was absolutely perfect, what we like to call Florida Keys tourism perfect. And I told Tim, even before we got there, I said, Tim, I said, you take me out and show me the fishing as you do with most anybody who calls and charters you. In other words, take me out, let's keep the rods bending and do it your way. And just when we took off and left that Sugarloaf Marina and headed into this wild maze of backcountry, uh, the area itself is just beyond beautiful, but it's just a major league estuary and I could not wait until we got to our first spot and uh, just tried fishing. I go a little farther. Okay. Good shot right there. Well, if you've got the conditions right, you have a lot of sunlight, you can pull for them and look for them. The majority of my people, they're up there in the age, they can't see as well. Come and get your red hot shrimp. All you can eat. This way you're chumming and you can tell the person exactly where the fish are gonna be at when they come into the chum and they got more of a chance of catching one. I like to see the people catch the fish and not just come back in and say, oh yeah, we saw a lot of them, but we didn't catch any. I like to catch them. <laughs> yeah, I told you what he did. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, a weird hit. I mean, yeah. See, they just bump, bump, bump it and then they pick it up. Yeah, I mean, it's like unusual, you wouldn't think you think a bonefish would slurp that shrimp uh -huh. down, don't you? There's a shark. Okay, now that's which a, one? Is that a nurse or a lemon? That's a nurse. Now, could you do this day in, day out throughout the entire year, coming in and doing the spoon fishing? Yeah. You see any particular months better than others for maybe size of fish or? September is a good month. May and June, but you're tarpon fishing too at the same time. But September, believe it or not, you get your you get more slams in September. Yeah, nice fish. Go. It is. Look at a blue tail. Good job. Nice uh, fish. Good job. You brought us out here. Easy to... there. Easy to... so there you go. How many of those have you caught out here? Oh, a lot. How many thousands, I should ask you? A lot. You? There you go. That's a Any pretty outstanding fish. There he goes. Hi. Get up, 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 a little there bit up tight to my bonefish, a little go. up close. Personal. There you go. There, George, you got your bonefish, my Looking man. Very cool. Set him go. There he goes. Uh, how fun is that? Eight pound test spin? Yeah. Now, I did change your hook. I noticed that. <laughs> I did change the hook. And I was worried, you know, that, that mangrove, I knew that was going to be in the way. And I but, knew that was going to happen too. And but I, I knew that you have a chance of going over top of it, you're fine. Yeah, we did. So I don't feel any frays or nicks. No, no, you're fine. So what, what you thought I doubted you? No. If, no, if I no. doubted you, I wouldn't be down here to begin with. I know, <laughs> and I know. George Pofferomo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Pen. Let the battle begin. Mako, the perfect predator. Bass Pro Shops at Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. 
Mercury Marine, go boldly. We'll be right back. I'm in the back country behind the lower Florida Keys in search of bonefish. I'm with Sugarloaf Key legend, Captain Tim Carlisle. Oh, there's something in there. He's in there looking. I see him. He's circling around in there. There's a couple of them. He's coming back. He's looking for it. When I get up into a flat, flat area like that, and you see a couple stingrays starting, or just around the area there. So for the stingrays feeding on the bottom, there's crustacean. There's something in the area, and it's alive. If you go to a place and you don't see nothing, don't, I don't even waste my time. Okay. Yeah, the junk. No, it's no. a bone fish. Let him go right over top of the yep. boat. Saw him in saw there. Saw two of them in there for sure. And they could stretch some line, can't they? That initial run. Yeah, there was a couple of them that came in there. God, he stretched out. Isn't it amazing just how much they can run in that first run? Awesome. There he is. Yeah. Okay. You know he's nowhere near tired. <laughs> Okay, easy there, fella. There you go there, George. Just grab him just underneath it. Like, kind of lift him underneath. Okay. Here he is. Get the rod, hook out of him. You're cheating, get the pliers. <laughs> I know, I showed you. Oh yeah, you just loosened there up. There you go. Awesome, beautiful. Okay, we now we know for certain there's another one back there, don't we? Now, I know there's more than one. Yeah. See, that didn't take you too long that time. Not at all. Well, I have a good question for you. I mean, it's as elementary as it seems. You come to a spot, you break some shrimp up, let the scent travel, and you catch bonefish. It seems very, very elementary, but there's got to be all these subtleties involved to be successful at it. Well, if you had to name two key subtleties to, for somebody to be successful at it, what would you say? You got to know exactly where to chum them. Out. You you can't just chum mm -hmm. anywhere. If there's if there's shrimp and stuff in this kind of bottom, mm -hmm. they'll stay in there and feed. They won't go up on the flats. Right now you got a full moon. You got something hitting it now. And that, oh, but that permit? Okay. That might be. I got a, it looked like a permit came in there. How about a bonnethead shark? No. Okay. I guess that. Guess I need to see the eye doctor. Bonnethead shark, you're going to find them or anywhere you fish with bonefish. A couple times it'll fool you, you'll think that you've got a bonefish on and it's a bonnethead shark. Or you can make a mistake and think it's a permit. <laughs> good, you're good eyes. They really look close to each other too. They look just about identical. I don't know if I'm really going to admit defeat yet. It's all right, just take your time. And I felt a thump, I whined tight. And I see this long type of a shadow with like a black outline near the tail. And I said, I've got a permit. I said, I think a permit just came in here and ate the shrimp. He's looking more like a permit now. Now, now it's more like a bonnethead shark. Oh, yes, okay. Me. Very I'm dangerous here. This danger is my game now. That's a good size bonnethead though. I don't know why they don't get real big, you know, like a hammerhead. And boy, when he saw it was a bonehead shark after I was saying permit, he got on me and he never let me live that down for the whole remainder of the trip. So the old school guy was certainly beating up on me on that one. But, uh, you know, I could have swear I thought I saw a permit there. The hammerhead didn't quite make it to a hammerhead, huh? Nope. Good job. When we were fighting the bonehead shark, I'm playing it back through the area that we chum for bonefish. And bonefish coming in the feed could care less that that fish was in danger or hooked up. And it just wanted to eat. And uh, we released the bonehead shark. We were back in the game. I cut back on that leader, was frayed, retied the hook, baited, shot back in there. And once you know it, hooked up to a bonefish. There you go, that's a bone. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Saw him come in, didn't you? Not really. No. There he is. Small word. And another one. Another one bites the dust. 
still right, guys. He's a smaller one than the other ones we had. But see, in the Marathon Bonefish Tournament, we look for small ones. Why is that? Because we're using a six pound test and you don't want a big one to fight it. Okay. You well. try to get uh, the smaller fish, get more, uh, more of them. It's just uh, how many you get. So you spend any time with them, see? Mm-hmm. Let me turn them loose. Beautiful fish, absolutely. There he goes. Back to the playing fields, huh? Well, you picked a good spot here, for sure. One thing about this area, old Florida Key style, and, and you look at Sugarloaf, Big Pine area, and just the estuaries out here, it's remarkable when it comes to eco-tours. One big anchor here is the Big Pine Kayak Adventures. That's the place you want to go, and who better to tell you about it than Bill himself. The lower Florida Keys is the gateway to both the Key Deer and Great White Heron National Wildlife Refuge. There's a number of different ecosystems you can find in the backcountry, from seagrass flats, extensive meadows, sponge flats, cool mangrove shorelines, and big sandy swaths between the islands in the contents and lower Florida Keys. Some of the best ways to view and interact with that watery wilderness is either by a flats fishing guide or a skinny water kayak or paddle craft. When you get out there out of the wind in that shallow seagrass or sponge flat bottom, you can see everything from fish, birds, we see turtles, dolphin, manatee, little baby sharks, stingrays, barracuda. It's just the phenomenal way to explore that watery wilderness. George Pofferobo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Simred. Go with Simred and go with confidence. Rapala Coastal, another great day. Suffix, always use the best line. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. George will be right back. The bonefish is arguably the most sought after shallow water game fish of the Florida Keys. It's the major league bucket list fish. I'm with Tim Carlisle and we're fishing in the backcountry waters behind Sugarloaf in the lower Florida Keys. The bonefish or, or bonnethead was racing back into I it? I see him, bonnethead. Right? Okay, so he's gonna probably finish the day off. There's another maybe. fish right there too coming in, another bonnethead. Okay. When those bonefish come into the chum, there could be one or there could be five or six. And what you've got to do is just say, give it 10 minutes. Give it 10 minutes if the fish aren't there. And then if you start getting a lot of peckers, such as little snappers, every cast you make, you get a snapper, get out of there because they're gonna eat all your chum up. You got another bone fish. There we go. Starting up here. Man, those runs are good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Now what do you think, you know, bonefish, powerful that that first run what, what what do you think they're capable of such a long run is it because they're in shallow and they're no, they can't go deep or or what's your take on most that? of your most of your streamlined fish the boat you know such as the pointed nose on them and yep. they're they're more they're more uh, streamlined they can run faster you can, like a bass they don't bass there's nothing because they've got a round tail on them yeah so that's some shoulders on it I told you you're going to get another one here. I'm in your backyard. I expect no less. There you go. He's a little bit bigger than the other one now. But they sure blend in with that bottom, don't they? It's really amazing. This one here has got contacts on. You know how you can tell? How? He doesn't have any glasses. Okay, that's some of that, the old uh, lower Florida Keys humor. I, I never thought I had uh, many, many with dry jokes to mind until I just started fishing with you today. There you go. <laughs> nice. Nice fish. Absolutely beautiful. A magnificent fish. You guys know that I catch bonefish on the ocean side that are golden. Their tips of their, their dorsal fin and their pectoral fin are gold in here. Why is that? They're trying to... It's a different kind bottom? of breed of a bonefish. It? It's it's unbelievable and you catch them on the ocean side. But you don't catch them this size. They're smaller. Hmm. I, I don't know what the, what the breed is, but that's... See the blue on him? Yeah, right. But if it's see the black? Yeah. The other ones have gold. And they're gold on their backs and on their on their pectoral fin 
and on the tip of the right up in oh. here. And you don't think it's a defense mechanism to blend more with that environment? No, like that? it's just something that's just. Uh, there we go. Is it right? Turn them loose now. Sure thing. All right, here he goes. He's off and going. George's Tackle Locker brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. Angle coolers are known for maintaining ice and their coolness for several days. This is a huge convenience when fishing multiple days and challenged by time to find a store or marina open early enough for daily re-icings. However, there are some tricks to maximize the potential of these coolers. First, sacrifice a bag of ice and keep the drain closed. This will pre-chill the insulation. Next, purchase drinks that are already chilled. This will help maintain the coolness of the ice versus take away from it by adding warm drinks. Your cooler's ratio should be twice as much ice than drinks or food. Keep the lid closed as much as possible and only drain water when ice is being added, a topping off which should be around the second or third day. By adhering to these steps, we've kept our drinks cool for nearly 10 days. Mercury Performance Stats, Sugarloaf Key. Seas, Calm. Power, Mercury's new V8 four-stroke. Speed, 46 miles per hour. Total miles, 51. Total fuel burned, 16 gallons. George Pofferomo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum, never a spectator. Starbright, professional grade boat care products. Bonefish, bonefish, and even more bonefish. Captain Tim Carlisle has us dialed in on the backcountry flats behind Sugarloaf in the lower Florida Keys. See him flashing? I do. It's right up there. Right there. Tim is what I'd out of character. He just a fun guy and He's old school, and then I had to find myself, you know, Tim, let me get my own bait. Let me bait my own hooks. He's a people pleaser. It's about catching fish, without a doubt, because this is how he made his reputation. He's an outstanding uh, captain. Oh, pretty fit. That is so awesome, huh? I love what I'm doing. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be doing it. But let me tell you something. I don't think I could do anything else. There he goes. Goes to the flats. That's what that is. George, you did it, man. I told you you are going to do it. Oh, I, had I, had, I had faith in you. Let me tell you what. It's the first time I fished with him, and he spared no time in jumping all over me. And me, and we'll back on to him, too. It's just a fun time that you hated for that trip to come to an end because it felt like he was a long-lost family member that you got reacquainted with, and now that trip was already over. He's that kind of guy. He just grows on you. When you look at that big pine in lower Florida Keys region, a place that we stay at quite a bit when we're down here fishing is on Little Torch. It's Palmer's Resort. This is a laid back five acre spread where they have cottages, suites, efficiencies, studios and rooms, and they have their own 90 foot beach. It's a beautiful facility, swimming pool. They're right on Pine Channel out front, so some pretty decent fishing around the bridges and within the channel itself. Beautiful facility, enjoyable to be down here. So Palmer's Resort, if you're coming down and fishing in this area, you definitely want to check it out. If you're bringing your own boat, trailer parking, you can even dock it behind Palmer's. A special treat on this trip was that uh, we actually dined at a brand new restaurant. It's called South of the Seven, meaning South of the Seven Mile Bridge. It is located inside the Sugarloaf Lodge and everything from the ambience, once you walk in and you looked at the art in the walls and how it was very well pointed. We had lobster cannelloni, we had blackened ribeye, tilefish, all remarkable. Topped only pretty much by the desserts that came around afterwards. And naturally, since we had a very successful trip, uh, we had to have a little Papa's Pilar rum and yes, their bar carries Papa's Pilar rum. If you're down in this part of the lower Florida Keys and looking for an outstanding restaurant, check out the new restaurant down here called South of the Seven. In all, it's a winner. Come back in to the Sugarloaf Marina. We put the shallow water mark uh, on this trailer at the real narrow, tiny ramp there at uh, Sugarloaf Marina. It was just a very entertaining trip. 
George is a very good fisherman. He really is a good angler. He casts really good. I tell you, it was fun fishing with him, you know, and he said, and he left it up to me. He said, Tim, what do you want to do? He's an easy guy to fish with. He made me feel like, oh, geez, this is so easy. Without a doubt, he was a hit. So Tim Carlisle, it was an honor to be fishing with such a legend. If you'd like to keep up with our fishing adventures, please follow me on Instagram. I'm at George Poveromo. On Facebook, I'm at facebook.com forward slash george.poveromo. And you can view our episodes at any time on our YouTube channel, George Poveromo TV. We'll see you out on the water.